there's so much more buzz with the music scene here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know? Yeah, yeah. And that's what I'm trying to get. Okay, we got more buzz, but let's get more business. Fucking right, right. Yeah. Let's get more... Because that's the only way, like, I can't work unless I can pay my own bills. Yeah, fucking right. Man, the business is everything, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, being able to make money and the shit. Like, you know, everybody got their approach. Like, I know cats who, who upload, their, upload their music on Spin Reel, that Piff, all of that, but... Everybody got Spotify, Apple Music, and shit like that now, and you can make money off of that. Correct. You know what I'm saying? So when you put your music Correct. on these free sites, like yeah, you might get a little exposure or something like that. But if everybody already got an app that you can make money off of, and that's and that's the standard for making money. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And then you know, like like my fans know, you got to go on there to get the music. You got to listen to it on there. You know, like oh, I would do it for free. I'm gonna put the song out there off the strength, but you know if you want to listen to it, you gotta consume that. You gotta, you gotta feed me for me to keep feeding you. That part. I mean, I do open mics on Wednesdays mm -hmm. and Thursdays because, to me, like putting on for South Carolina, a lot of artists need that stage presence. Where are they gonna practice if there's no open mic? Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. You know, G Easy said in 2006, 2006 he was doing open mics. Yeah. yeah Mr. Yeah. No Limit, number one song on the radio. Yeah. Ed. Uh, Ed Sheeran said it in London. He did open mics. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. cutting your teeth, getting better, away from the test, the SAT test, away from the whatever test you have that you only get one shot at. Mm -hmm. Why not get your practice now? So when you do that one shot, you you you, you know you're cruising. Exactly, man. Prepare yourself. You know what I mean? Like it's it's always quality over quantity. You know, I see these niggas putting out all this music nowadays, and you know, like it, a lot of times it don't really be that good. You know, and they just trying to flood the streets with it. But if you look at Kendrick Lamar, you look at J. Cole, you know, they're still touring off the last album, bro. Yeah. They don't got no new music, you know, but the music's so impactful right. that they can stay out here and make bread off of it. You see what right. I'm saying? So when you putting out that quality, it just stands alone. You put out a quality video, it stands alone. Because don't nobody care if you can't afford a, a good video, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because you trying to you trying to get the fans. You trying to get Drake's fans. You see what I'm saying? You trying to get Rich the Kid's fans. And they don't give a fuck if you can't afford a good video. They don't care if you can't go, go to a good studio and record. Right. You know what I'm trying to say? They, right. they don't care about that. All they want to do is party and listen to some good music. So you got to provide that for them. Feel that need. Exactly, bro. You got to feel that. So, you know. Yeah. Uh, that's Tigo B talking some real jewels. I'm oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. like to talk a lot. I knew you said that. I just let the money talk. Girl, I don't play.